This video tutorial will demonstrate how to set up and run an optimization problem using the Multistart Solver from the Global Optimization Toolbox. In this example, I'll show how to use the Multistart Solver to find the best fit parameters for a nonlinear equation. I'll first create my data vectors and then plot them. The data shown here is from a controlled lab experiment where the x-axis is time and the y-axis is drug concentration. The model to fit here is a three-compartment pharmacokinetic model which is a summation of three exponential terms. We'll first fit this model using the least squares curve fitting approach, and we'll begin by using the least squares curve fitting solver, LSQ Curve Fit, from the optimization toolbox. In MATLAB, we'll use the create optim problem function from the global optimization toolbox to create a problem structure. As you can see, I've defined the solver I wish to use as LSQ Curve Fit, defined the objective as model, passing in my data x and y, which are the vectors t and c, as well as initial starting point, which we'll just use default values and ones. And I've defined lower and upper bounds just to keep the fit parameters within a reasonable range. I've also defined the options to use a custom output function, plot iterates, to display the fit results while the solver runs. To solve this problem, I pass in the problem structure to the LSQ curve fit function. As you can see from the results, the fit is quite poor. The reason is the nonlinear least squares curve fitting problems often need a good initial guess for the fitting parameters to converge to a reasonable fit. To overcome this problem, you could try different starting values. Multistart allows me to automate this process and is designed to solve constrained nonlinear optimization problems that contain multiple maxima or minima, such as this fitting problem. To use the Multistart solver, I first create a Multistart solver object. Displayed to the command window is the default solver options. We're going to go ahead and use these. To run the solver, we pass into the run method the multi-start solver object, the local solver problem structure, and the number of starting points. In this case, we'll start with 50. Now, in this example, I'm using LSQ Curve Fit as my local solver, but you can also use a different nonlinear solver as well. As you can see, the solution now appears to oscillate between two solutions, one that fits really well and one that fits OK. One of the outputs from the run method is the solution array, which contains all the solutions found by the multi-start solver. Take a look at the first one. We'll also take a look at the 25th, as well as the final solution. The results are stored in the solutions array in terms of the objective function value, beginning with the minimum function value found and increasing value. You can see the different parameters that were found for the best fit one that was a moderate fit, and one that was a really poor fit. Now this problem was relatively small and ran rather fast. For larger problems, or problems that are more computationally expensive, the solution process can be accelerated using parallel computing. Now to illustrate this point, let's rerun this problem using parallel computing. First, let's rerun this problem without the interactive plot update, and then we'll time it to benchmark the performance on this machine with one MATLAB worker. So with 100 starting points, it runs in just over 12 seconds. Now let's rerun this problem using parallel computing. First, I need to define the number of MATLAB workers to use and initialize them using the MATLAB pool command. Now that the MATLAB pool is initialized, I need to tell the multistart solver to use the MATLAB pool. I set the multistart option use parallel to always, and then I rerun it as before. With four MATLAB workers, multistart completed in just over six seconds to find out more about the multistart solver options and supported local solvers, you can consult the product documentation. Included in the documentation are demos, some examples, as well as information about how to use the multistart solver, including how the multistart solver works. Now, if you don't have the product installed, you can access the documentation online from the Global Optimization Toolbox webpage. Now, this concludes the demonstration. For more information, select one of the links on this page or return to the product page.